So the, um, the thing is, what you want to be, if you're early in your career, you want to be a disruptor. Now, sometimes you got to kind of, you got to live within, live within, you know, the framework that you've been given. But you should always be looking to push the envelope. We work in technology. We work in IT, for God's sake. We don't work in whatever other technology that's not, or what other, some other field that's not constantly adapting. You're supposed to be pushing the envelope. You're supposed to be looking for new ways to do things. Um, my wife tells me and she tells our kids, I'm sure even press has heard it. Do what you've always done. Get what you've always gotten. That's a mantra that we have just ingrained in our kids. If you're comfortable with the status quo, if that's what you're wanting to do, hey, that's great. And you're going to keep getting the same thing. You should be a disruptor. But being a disruptor means that you have to be a lifelong learner. You have to always be reading, learning, picking up new things, looking at new, looking at the innovations. You need to think of yourself as an innovator. And the more important part is you have to be a doer. The world is full of people that talk a good talk, but don't walk a good walk, right? Be a doer. Be somebody that the rest of the team knows they can count on you to do that, to not just talk about, yeah, man, that augmented reality thing, that's, that's pretty cool. We should get on board with that. And I do believe that the people that truly know something are the ones that can do it. They can roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty and actually do it. I think the other skill set that if you're on this call or, or if you want to stay in IT in the future is you have to understand how code works. Infrastructure as code is the future. There's no way around it. So if you look at the cloud services, um, the cloud services on AWS or Azure, that's just your base OS, but you don't care about the hardware anymore. It's abstracted from your concern. That's, that's Amazon's concern. So everything you put out there you can think in terms of, hey, that's a traditional server, right? I installed Windows Server, then I installed my applications, my SQL on top, or I installed CentOS, then I threw my SQL on top and Apache, and I installed, I installed Python, right? Your typical LAMP stack. You can think in terms of that, but the reality of it is it's all code. It's no longer it's no longer hardware for for nearly all of IT. There's still infrastructure people. We'll still have network switches and routers and things like that, but even the network's on board. That's what SD-WAN is, software-defined networking. More and more, if you look at a lot of the, like, checkpoint firewalls or all the F5 stuff, they're Linux-based appliances. They're not even a physical piece of hardware that you're putting in your data center. Again, it's all code. So the skill sets moving forward are Python, R, R for data science. It's those, you know, all those tools, PowerShell for Windows. <laughs> 